We're going to look at how to create a parent login in PowerSchool and also how to connect multiple students to one parent sign-in. The first thing we need to do is to get to this page. This can be accessed through the district website, which is at hotsprings1.org. Once we're at the website, we can scroll to the bottom and here we can find student quick links. The one that we're looking for is the PowerSchool login. That will take us to this page, which can also be accessed by going to hotsprings1.powerschool.com slash public. To create a new parent account, we want to click Create Account. As it says here, this allows us to view all of our students with one account, and we can also manage some preferences about notifications in this parent login. We want to click Create Account again. Now here in this page, we want to fill in as much information as we can. Here you'll select your desired username. There isn't much of a limit on what you can do here, except for you can't use an email address and you can't include apostrophes. It's similar with your password. Here you get to choose what that's going to be and enter it twice. Now we're going to link students to this account. This is where if you have multiple students in the school district, you can link them all to your parent account. And when you log in, you'll be able to see the PowerSchool information for each of those students in one place. This fixes the issue of having to log out and log back in with a different login for every student. In order to link students to your account, you need some additional information. You need an access ID and an access password. All of this information is provided to you from the secretary in the building where your student attends. This access ID and access password is the same as in previous years, but you can also get a new copy by requesting it from your secretary. Secretaries can provide you that information in person, over the phone, or through a mailing similar to this. Once you've gathered that information, you want to enter it here. You'll also want to make sure you select the appropriate relationship from the drop-down provided. And if you have multiple students in the district, you can continue to enter additional information down below. Once you've entered all of your student information, you can go ahead and scroll to the bottom and hit enter. This will return you to the PowerSchool page, which allows you to sign in with the new password and username that you've created. And then you should be able to see all of the standard information about your student or students. 